Hey, hello for the evening, it's Ketan Mar. Welcome back for another video of Red Dead Redemption 2. I just woke up, guys, so my voice or the way I speak might be all over the place. But usually, I'll, it's always like that. I always wake up, take my, uh, take some, uh, not take a bath, but take a, a shower and everything. And after, just right afterwards, I do my video. I don't waste any time, guys. Just want to play games. That's all I want to do. So, we got one more mission to do, obviously, with our boss, Dickens, right here, I believe. So, just gotta talk to him, see what he has next to do with it. I think he's talking with his wife, I believe, or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think it's his wife, actually. I'm not sure, guys, but let's just talk to him, not waste any time here. We're still doing the epilogue with uh, John Marston. Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. What the hell is going on, guys? They came back. I don't even have a weapon. Oh my god, what is going on here? Where's Dickens? Where's my boss? There he is. Are you okay, boss? What the? Oh my god, where is he? Oh, it's the one that got beaten up. Okay, that's uh, not that's the uh, the other guy. Dickens is the other guy, I guess. Forgot. Okay. Shit. No, you don't. What the hell were you beating on? Doing beating on my people like that? Are you okay? They've killed Mr. Tolbert and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back. I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Alright, let's go. We got the hat and everything. Let's go. Back to the old ways. We don't have a chance. We don't have a choice right here. I'm not actually... Oh, I have all my weapons. They're fucked, you guys. Oh, they don't want to mess with me now. I've got my Lancaster repeater and everything. My shotgun. Oh, no. They don't want to mess with me today. It's over for them. All right, let's go, guys. Oh, they wanted to mess with me? I might have been in former now, but uh, I used to be an outlaw, the best shooter in the game. You're gonna not, you don't want to mess with me. Let's go, guys. I don't know if I, I'm going too quick for them, but uh, I'll just go right away right here. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If All right, they're following me anyways, so. 
That's the place. My god. Got uh, everything back. I really need to get rid of that beard and everything though. I, I gotta go to town for that. Inside, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, well, let's do this shit. Hey! Hey! You wanted to mess with us, boys? I've been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. Yeah. Come have a word with me. You here to cut a deal? You're too late, partner. I'm just, uh, okay, so confront. I'm here for our cattle. And to teach some manners to all of you. <laughs> you seen how many men we got? How about that, bitch? I'm not wasting, t I'm not talking to all of you. Oh, God, I'm missing all my shots now. There I go. You're all dead to me. You hear me? That's right. There I go. I've got my Lancaster repeater now. You're all you're all fucked, guys. You're you're not going to mess with me now. You don't get to steal from me like that. You should have left us alone a long time ago. Let's go. You don't know who I am, don't you? I'm one of the Vendelin gangs. Very dangerous. There I go. There we go. We got all of them almost. There's a lot of them. Oh my god, I almost shot the horse right there. Shit, I'm gonna die here. What? Hold on now. I gotta remedy re re really quick. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta use something. There's a guy right here. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. I think we almost got everyone. There's just a couple of guys left right here. There we go. Just a couple of enemies left. But there's a guy right here too. God damn. I hate when you shoot them. They don't just... Like there's some sort of... Uh, second shot you gotta put on them. I hate that. It's a hit marker basically. There we go. Am I? Yeah, 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 sure, whatever. You're the fella that said something about my wife. Where you fellas at? Oh, you're right there, huh? Backwoods. Hold on now. No good. Get, right. get your hands off me. I need help right now. Jesus. No, I, never mind. I don't know what the two others are doing, but... Apparently they don't... They, they are not here to help me. Oh god, this guy is pretty good. How about I shoot you? Oh my, I can't shoot him. It's another fight, fist fight. You know what happened last time I, I tried to do a fist fight? It was with Micah and I died, guys. No, you don't. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathed first and sheep dip, get the stink of you off of her, farmhand! Don't know if it was finished or not. Just finished the job already. Don't know if I'm gonna get a, like, uh, an actual bad, uh, bad honor or anything. I'm trying to get good honor. So I'm hoping that, uh, Arthur's hat. Oh, it's oh yeah. Of course, it's Arthur's hat. But for me, officially, it's still John's hat. I, I don't know. Let's just loot really quick. If I loot, does it mean that I'm gonna have bad honor or anything? No, it does. It doesn't. I just get the loot. That's it. I mean, I might as well loot. Yes, it's a perfect opportunity to get some money here, because we're gonna need some. We can't rob anything anymore. So we got to do some stuff here. 
I can't have bad honor on John. I'm trying to have the good honor on him. Alright, let's just go, guys. Right back to Pronghorn Ranch. Alright, I'll do that. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys with a quick uh, transition. Save the whole place. Uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you. Oh, you. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Whew. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. Don't look what, uh, at me like that face, man. What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Well, here it goes. The morning, I guess. Motherhood. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey! Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. Okay. Let's see what the telegram is all about, guys. I have no idea. Can't believe this, man. But I, doubt someone I can't do anything. I just can't go out, you know? I just go out with my guns for two seconds and Abigail's like, oh, well, you do some stuff. It's like, leave me alone for Christ's sake. Why did John get his hands on that? I, I, I swear. With Arthur, we had Sadie. She was beautiful. She was everything a girl should be. And now we're stuck with Abigail. Of course. Stuck with the worst girl that was in the camp. That's just great right there. Oh, well. Let's see what we got right here. What's going on? Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Well, I'll be damned. I, I was just talking about her, guys. Looks like we're going to have a meeting with our old Sadie bo uh, friend. All right, Miss Adler. I'm coming to you right away. I'll, I'll do anything for you. That's for sure. Not for Abigail. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. We gotta to uh, tell Abigail about uh, Sadie's situation, though. I don't know what she wants from us, though. Trying to have a new life. Sadie apparently has probably got something really important. Abigail. Using a real name like that uh, as well in the telegram. It's kind of risky. Darling John. A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had many problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail.
Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married, Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. All right, well, let's go work, guys. Forget about Abigail. She wants to run off? Fine. For me, she's just complaining all the time anyways. She's not worth my while. As a Vendorling, a former Vendorling gang though, uh, I kind of want her to survive though, so let's just make sure, let's just pray that she is, uh, that she's gonna be careful about what she's doing and she doesn't get caught or anything. She doesn't do just basically like Sadie did or what she did like me. She forced me to almost look, uh, basically say my name and risk her entire thing. You know, she took, took her real name for the dress and everything. She can't do that anymore. Just got to make sure about that. So we got a bunch of missions. That's a nice dog right there. What a... So it's behind the... the f fix the fences? I, I'm, I'm going to fix the fences, guys. I kind of want that. Milking the cow, I don't, I'm not a fan of that. I'm going to fix the fences. It's kind of... Uh, a good hard work job, so I, I'm liking it. Let's just do that, and after once that is done, if I have the opportunity, I will go talk to Sadie, I guess. I kind of want to see her since it's been a while for John, obviously. I already, already miss her, guys. Never know, uh, never knew what happened really with her, you know, we j she just ran off with Abigail and stuff. Never know, uh, we don't know what she uh, happened to her too much. Ever since, of course, she ran off and we were stuck with Arthur, which we threw, we went off to basically fight for, fight to the death and we ended up uh, losing. few months later huh all right this is just some repeating right there days after days days go by and all of a sudden you're a month later you're a year later hey, you know, this is how it is about you. turned into a fine worker Jim Milton oh thank you means a lot hey you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes see if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance no, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak at least thank you Mr. Dickens all right, let's go talk to Miss Mr. Giddies. That's our boss right there. Forgot his name at the beginning of the video. I forget everybody's name. If they're not that important, which he seems important, but it doesn't seem that important, you know, to do main story and everything. So I always forget these kinds of people. Let's just go talk to him. I really got to get rid of that beard and that a month skip right here did not Probably did not help with the old uh, beard situation and hair. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. 
experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Thank you, Mr. Giddies. It's really nice of him. Looks like we're uh, gonna have a new home, guys. Perfect timing. Since we gotta go talk to Sadie and everything. Beaver's Hope. I don't know where that is. I don't remember. We're gonna get our old costume back. Kind of like the um, what we were wearing right now, though. Looks like we're gonna get our old costume back. There we go, the John Marston's costume, guys. I'm gonna keep that costume for sure, since uh, it's the original costume and everything from the first game too. So. I want to keep it absolutely. So you have unlocked the survival list challenge. Check your log for more information. I don't care about that. Uh, so next thing. Wait. So this is still our camp, right? Oh, we're still living there technically. But uh, all right. So as we can see, we've got a mission over Blackwater. Obviously, Sadie's at Valentine. Blackwater right here. Which who said Insul Aberton? Okay, so that's to make our name, to make our own land and everything. Before we do all of that, I would do. I really want to talk to Sadie. I really want to see what's what happened to her, basically. So, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go take the train up to Valentine. So that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for the train up to Valentine. I'll see you guys once I'm there. Be out to the west. It would have been better. You can't punch, my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Are you? Thrash. No man alive. Are you serious right now? What was your name, sir? Man, I just come across. I was just right behind you, Sadie, you guys. I was going for the barber shop. Punch us both. I as run into these guys you again. You'll break his That's crazy. And I'll Wanted to get a haircut. The barber shop is kind of uh, like out of business right now. I gotta fight these guys. Wait, what? I gotta punch these guys? These guys are stupid or something? Come on. Punch Acrisius. What? Hit me. Which one is Acrisius? You're seeing everything now. Right there. What? It doesn't give me the option. No mercy. Oh, that's the that's a Croesus right there, really? There we go. <laughs> you really walloped him. Right. That's crazy. Why are we doing this? I'm fine. Come on. Really? What is going on, guys? Why am I punching these two dudes? I don't know. I don't know why we're doing this. Oh, the barber shop is available now. Hey, hey, it was probably because of that mission. What? What is wrong with you? I mean, you want to keep me. You never to hit girls? If Abigail saw me doing that, man, I would be so in bad business. I'm just saying. 
Why did they want to press the girl so bad? Sure. Are you quite? Why would I do that? Oh, right ever, man. Oh my God, my. Oh, I'm. I'm hurt. I'm hurt myself, man. Why? Okay, you too, I guess. Gentlemen? Yes, oh. I think so. Oh, I slipped. And I hope you killed the leprechaun. But he's still alive? Shoot him, please. One of you. There, there. Up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Uh, good luck to you both, what man. Or all there? three of you. <sighs> You're all pretty weird to me. What the hell was that? These guys are so weird. Sadie's actually in the... Ta so it's the tavern. It's the tavern, guys. I gotta go into it. It's the barber's shop as well. It's a saloon. There we go. Can I go inside here? Why? So I'm guessing it's it's closed because we gotta talk to Sadie first. I am not sure I have time for to talk to Sadie just yet, guys. Misunderstood the. Uh, I misread the. Uh, the whole point here uh, of uh, of timing. I misread the timing and everything. So I'm just going to stop it right here. We're going to talk to Sadie in the next one. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. And see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.